Welcome back. We are always careful not to spread false hope when it comes to medical breakthroughs, but this really does show remarkable promise. New research which may radically change how one of the cruelest and deadliest forms of cancer is detected and treated. For one of the researchers, this is more than a passion. It's a deeply personal crusade. Look, this is an area of high-grade dysplasia that we've detected mm. on FAPI PET scan. Will McGann might be a doctor, a surgical trainee and a PhD candidate dedicating his research to the early detection of pancreatic cancer. If you can't see it, you can't treat it. Absolutely. That's the key outcome. But he's also a new dad with a tragic family history yeah, of the fine. same cruel disease. Well, actually, over the last 10 years, uh, my family has lost my grandma, Florence, my uncle, Andrew, and, yeah, my dad, Tim, to, to pancreatic cancer. It's a brutal example of how indiscriminate pancreatic cancer can be. Will's uncle was Andrew McGann, an award-winning author. His father, Tim, one of Queensland's leading vascular surgeons. It's a terrible disease, and... I don't think that I'm the only one working in this space who, who really wishes that there were more options. The reality is pancreatic cancer is the third biggest cancer killer in Australia. Patients have just a 13% chance of living five years past their diagnosis. Early detection through scans is almost impossible because the pancreas is tucked away so deep inside our abdominal cavity. It means by the time a patient starts showing symptoms like nausea, unexplained weight loss or pain, their diagnosis is probably terminal. You know, some people have good outcomes and, and actually have some, some good quality time after they're diagnosed. Uh, in, in, in my dad's case, we, we had, you know, a really precious six months. And, and in other cases, yeah, unfortunately, the nature of the disease is that it is far too late by the time it's detected. When you say six months being precious, it, that is precious because sometimes it's weeks, isn't it? Exactly. But it's not enough six months, is it? No, no, we'd much prefer to still have him with us. That's, that's true. Will's research has been funded through a medical grant by advocacy group Pankind. It will hopefully see the development of a new scan that lights up the cancer cells that until now have been invisible, giving surgeons pinpoint accuracy when operating on the pancreas. And what's exciting is that we think it's able to see the disease earlier than what we've previously been able to do with existing imaging. We even think that it might be able to detect areas of the pancreas that contain uh, high-risk cells, uh, but before they actually become pancreatic cancer. And so he's a real inspiration for all of this, that, that we do need to work as hard as possible, as effectively as possible, to get as you know, bigger impact as we can as quickly as possible. Dr John Hooper is Will's PhD supervisor, whose own research will see a clinical trial next year. So hopefully by March, April, May next year, we'll actually be imaging our first patients. So we're very excited about that. It's groundbreaking when you consider this is a cancer that unfortunately for so long has been once you got your diagnosis, it yeah. was too late, wasn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. You know, the five-year survival rates around that 10% rate um, it really is a, um, you know, a catastrophic cancer to be diagnosed with. Will's eager to point out he's not working alone. A host of hospitals, labs, doctors and researchers across Brisbane are part of the mission. But there's no denying the vested interest this doctor has in the disease. And, and I'm lucky that I've had the opportunity uh, and as well as, you know, an incredible amount of support from colleagues and mentors, many of whom were colleagues of my dad's, to be able to yeah, funnel that experience into something that is actually a positive part of my life. Well, so far, 70 patients have been part of Will's research, many of whom are grappling with their own diagnosis of pancreatic cancer. So he's hoping this development gives their families hope.